Today, school is back in session for 37 year-round schools in Wake County. Woods Creek Elementary in Holly Springs is welcoming its very first class this morning. That's where we find WRL's Laura Levine. Parents there will have some new ways, Laura, to get updates on their kids' bus routes. Absolutely. Good morning, Jeff. Yeah, we're going to begin to see the buses roll in here around 845 with that first bell ringing at 9 a.m. But here at Woods Creek Elementary School, we've been speaking with the principal, the superintendent. There is a lot of excitement today as we are day one for year round students. As you've mentioned, there is something new this year starting the school year. Parents of students who ride the bus now can get up to the minute notifications via text and email when their child's bus is delayed. Parents can still check for bus delays by clicking clicking on that live bus updates link and a school's transportation page or by using the Here Comes the Bus app. This new notification system comes as the district has dealt with major transportation and bus staffing issues over the past few years. About 15 minutes ago, I spoke with Superintendent Robert Taylor. Here's what he had to say about heading into the new school year. My goal is to focus on teaching and learning, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that teachers have the resources that they need, that schools have the resources that they need. That is our core business, and that shall always be a focus for me. We obviously want to continue to focus on school safety, making sure students are safe when they come to school, and they have a great learning environment. Absolutely. And speaking with the principal here this morning, he tells me they're starting off the school year here with 400 students, but the building, the facility here is enough to fit about 900. So starting small as they hope to grow here in Holly Springs. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Holly Springs.